Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, my goodness, man. LDWMAC. Man, look, look. Scott Coker. Well, okay, okay, okay. We ain't, ain't gonna go in on Scott Coker just yet. So Valerie Lareda is expected, you know, she's gonna sound the WWE. Now, business wise, financially wise, it's probably gonna be good. And I think Valerie Lareda, she'll fit right in. She'll fit right in. I mean, hell, she's already doing it right now. She's already doing it right now. The girl got microphone skills. I mean, she is cut out for the WWE. Now, for all those MMA fans that like to see Valerie Lareda fight in the octagon, well, that's it. Because you know Vince McMahon, you know, he ain't letting Valerie Lareda, you know, uh, fight in Bellator. And, guys, I really got to say this. Scott Coker doing some fucking up. Like, seriously. You know that her going to the WWE, you know, is money. And Vince gave Valerie Loretta an offer she couldn't refuse. A lot more than a, than, than a Bellator pay that she got, or getting, or was getting. See, y'all, here's the thing, man. Scott is letting the history repeat itself. The only reason why Bellator hadn't went under yet, and I'm just telling you dudes this, is that Scott has some pretty good backing behind him, you know? had some good vacuum and I remember at one point he even had Viacom backing him so it's gonna be a little bit harder for him to go under okay this time but you gotta think man could you imagine all the stuff that he could have did with Valerie Lareda and she wasn't fighting enough I mean me I don't blame her guys when the last time you seen Valerie Lareda fight when the last time you seen Lareda fight tell the truth when when have you seen her fight? Like, it's, it's, it's so rare. And, you know, Valerie got to eat. She got bills. She can't live like that. Girl got bills. Girl got to eat. I mean, Valerie, damn near fighting once a year, once every six months. Who the hell can work like that? And it's not like, you know, she's a main carter. Like, dude, it's like the potential that Scott Coker had right here is just, it's sick. This girl could have sold fights. I mean, man, I just I shake my head, man. This guy Scott Coker. I mean, you got people like Denise uh, Kilholst. You got her. You could have, you know, you could have sold with her. I mean, it's just I shake my head at this guy. And you know, I used to have a lot of a lot of love and respect for Scott Coker. And I, oh, okay, and I respect the guy as a man. Okay, I respect him as a man. I respect what he tries to do for fighters. But it's just, business-wise, Scott Coker just don't seem to get it. He just don't get it. Like, you let her get away. Like, you let Valerie get away. This girl ain't finna come around here, man, and be, you know, fighting no Bellator for no 5-5 five and five and no 10-10s and tens when she can make damn near a strong six-figure income just going to go wrestle. And, you know, everything's choreographed. You know, what? Well, what do you think she gonna do? She finna go get that WWE paycheck. She finna get that paycheck and she finna go make this money. That's what she finna do, to be real. So, I mean, I, you know, man, I don't think Scott Coker's ever gonna get it, y'all. I don't think Scott's ever gonna get it. I don't think he, he will ever get it because the, the, the thing with Scott is that history, it just repeats itself over and over and over again. And it's like, he could do something about it. He could go do something about it. I mean, you could you, you, you could sign a girl to an exclusive contract. You could pay the girl more money. You could make the girl a mouthpiece. You know, you, you, you can plaster everywhere. You can sell her because Valerie Lareda is, she's a self-selling, you know, pretty much a poster board for selling fights. This woman can do it. She got the gift of gab. She got charisma. She got it all. But unfortunately, Scott Coker don't realize that. I don't know, the people that work with him, they don't realize that. They don't understand what she possesses. I mean, I saw this when I saw her, and I'm like, man, this is a gold mine. This is a gold mine. This is a gold mine. What? Scott, what's going on? Well, Scott can't see the gold mine. He can't see it because the man don't have a business acumen like that. I, I, just, I don't know. I don't know. He's going to always be second to guys like Dana White. Invest big man. He's he's always gonna be second. 
He's always going to be second fiddle the whole time. I'm out.